This tutorial is one of many instructional videos presented by the Olympus Industrial Equipment Group. This tutorial video will provide you with detailed instructions to capture 3D images and to perform height measurements within the Surface View add-in module for the Olympus Stream image analysis software. Within the Acquisition tab, start by adjusting the sample to the bottom level of focus as shown. You will need to interface with the Process Manager tool window and be within the Automatic Processes. Automatic Processes are available within Stream Motion or Enterprise. Make sure Instant EFI Extended Focal Imaging is selected and for this demonstration only this one process is selected. Since the image is at bottom of focus, you will want to select Start Set Point. Always start at the bottom level of focus so the image does not become inverted in 3D view. You will now need to drive focus to the top level of the focus range or the highest point of your sample. This can be done using the up arrow buttons within the process manager or by using the hardware control focus knob on the microscope frame. Once this point has been reached, you must set the end point. You must verify the recommended step size value is set. If the step size is too far above the recommended step size, your image will come out with blur spots. You can hit the apply button to have it default to the recommended value. The software sets this value automatically based on the function of the objective lens. Once the step size has been determined, it will display the number of Z slices required for this magnification and Z range. Once the settings are complete, you will simply press the start button at the top. The process will now be automated and perform all of the image captures required to generate the all-in-focused image, or EFI. You can watch the progress of the automation at the bottom of the image window, or cancel it at any time. Now that the process is completed, you will see the title bar of the image change to allow you to view all 34 slices of focus points. You will want to perform a process to generate the EFI image with a height map. To perform this, select the Process tab, then select Enhancement, and click on EFI Processing. The EFI Processing window will open. You can move the preview window or resize it. You will want to make sure that the height map selection is checkmarked so the processing will generate the height map for the stack of images based on our Z values. I also like to have it generate a new document as an output, so you can always go back to your original if you need to make changes. If this is not selected, it will overwrite the original document with the EFI image. Once this is done, you can simply click OK to perform the process. Once the process has been performed by the software, you will see an extended focal image, or EFI. To create the 3D rendering of this image, you have to select the Surface View button at the top title bar of the image. The Surface View option is the module to produce the 3D image rendering and is a special add-in module to stream motion or enterprise. Now the 3D generated image will be displayed with the default texture overlay. You can simply click on the image and drag it to rotate or tip. You can also zoom into the image with the slider control under navigation. To adjust the surface texture and color options, you must click on the surface color settings button at the top of the surface view window. Within this window, you can select between the source layer or texture layer. The source layer is the raw height data and grayscale. We can go back to the texture layer. You can also select the color mode from the drop down. Single color provides the height data in a single color overlay. Single color height shaded provides the height data with gray value shading of low to high. Lookup table provides a color band overlay of the height data and color from source layer is another gray value height data. If you select lookup table, you can now see height data in the color ramp. 
There are several color ramps to select from by clicking on the Open Folder icon. Let's go back to Texture from Layer. Even while in the texture mode, you can still overlay the color ramp with the texture by selecting Blend Lookup Table with other color modes. This now shows the height data and color ramps, but also the texture of the sample image. We can close this window now. Now go back to Single Frame View by clicking on the button at the top title bar of the image. We will now take some height measurements in Z of the image. This has to be done in Single Frame View, not 3D. It also makes it more accurate for point placement on the surface. You will need to select the Processing tab. Within the Measurement and Region of Interest tool window, select 3D Line Measurement Mode. Place your first mark on the image. Then place the second ending mark. This now shows the 3D intensity projection between the two height points selected. We can now also select a point for measurement on the opposite side of the sample. This second point shows the same height measurement on both sides of the sample as expected. In this instructional video, we have covered 3D imaging and measurements within the Olympus Stream image analysis software. We hope this video has been beneficial, and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions.